So it seems the balance patch is going to be alive tomorrow. To be honest, it was expected. It was either this week or the next week. If it were delayed, we would already probably know that. But let's see Warp what this is active. all about. So new content, structure, asteroid detection array. A quantum radar used for monitoring in-system asteroid anomalies, which can increase the level of the asteroid belts detected. It can be anchored to a system with sovereignty and its effect will be applied to any newly discovered asteroid belts. The effect can be further improved by upgrading the corporation tech, how to obtain a factory then based on the blueprints purchased from the Yita market. I like how they are specifying Yita market, although there are some might be sold in, in Amar as well. Asteroid detection array enhancement tech. It enhances all past detection rates owned by the corporation and improves their effectiveness in detecting air rebels. Unlock at corporation L5. Implant artillery cover. Suitable for all types of cannons, this implant passively increases the cannon's ammo charge and firing power. It increases the firing interval and deals a higher percentage of damage. Fire coverage alone increases scan tracking speed when activated, better for small fire targets, but reduces the effect of the passives. Artillery support level 15 increases accuracy falloff, good for medium to long range combat. Ballistic prediction level 15 increases tracking speed attack. when firing. Part of the accuracy falloff range will be calibrated to a to the optimal range. Good for medium and close range combat. Armor Melter, level 30, increases thermal warp drive damage active. and deals more, damage, more thermal damage to targets with low thermal shield resistance. Good against ordinary enemies. Blast Charge, level 30, increases explosive damage and penetrates a small amount of explosion resistance but deals reduced kinetic damage. Good against elite enemies. Full Salvo launches a saturation strike on the enemy shortly after activation, deals light damage to targets in range even if it misses, but has no effect if it hits the enemy successfully. The damage depends on weapon size, range distance to targets, flight velocity, signature radius and other parameters. Good for suppressing small and medium high speed targets. It kinda sounds like the barrage implant combined with the high power coil should be interesting depends on depending on how it performs i Warp might drive get active. this implant but we will see what will happen with that implant aerospace tactics suitable for drones fighters and lightweight ships this implant passively improves the drone's high speed combat capability increases their damage and flight velocity and reduces their inertia modifier aerial combat determination Level 1, when activated, increases the effective range of drone command, excluding fighters, significantly reduces the flight velocity of drones and fighters, and increases their range. Suitable for damage avoidance or enhancing firepower, and also for sentry drones. Close combat technique, level 15, enhances close combat capabilities, increasing Warp drones drive attacking active. speed, and rocket and missile explosion velocity, and reducing their signature radius. Mighty Arsenal level 15 increases drone damage and defense but reduces flight velocity. Recovery technique level 30 increases the recovery range and flight velocity of drones. Efficient commanding level 30 increases the range of drones and fighter command. commands, uh, which also applies to light ships at a reduced effect. Tactical determination level 45 when any drone is under attack, trigger the designated tactic when its shield drops to low can be toggled between Adaptive Determination and Desperate Determination. Adaptive Determination, all drones route their power to power and engine, reducing shield recharge time and increasing status wafer resistance and flight velocity. Desperate Determination, all drones route their power to shield and weapon, increasing damage and shield resistance. Interesting. Kind of feels like a combination between. Well, I'm not quite sure if this is going to be like the bombarding plant, so we will see, but it kind of feels like a bombard plus thermosification, but I might be wrong. Skill structure weapon system. Skills uh, pertaining to the management and operation of structure weapon systems increases the damage and performance of structure weapons. How to obtain, purchase, and train with ISK. 
Supercure AI core now available. Four Supercure AI cores are now available, including Nix, Wyvern, Hell, and Eon. The powerful performance of, of a Supercure means it requires greater maneuverability. Upgrading the AI core requires twice as much material as upgrading a small carrier. Yikes. Well, I guess those of you who are hunting Super Capitals will have a field day with this one, since it feels like there's going to be AFK carriers, Super Carriers around, so. If you're hunting carriers, super carriers, you will have a blast with this one. Balance updates. Implants. Barrage repression continues. Ramming's ammo reload time reduced from 24 seconds to 20 seconds. Snap technology. Continuous prediction gained a new effect. Reduces the cooldown by 30 seconds. Automatic defense. Micro scrambling gem strength increases from 2 to 3. Support projection EMP warheads damage penalty decreases from 50% to 37 to 45%. So that was a looks like a nerf. In flight retardant warhead and in flight disruptors warheads damage penalty decreased to 8 to 20%. Decreases as it levels up. Tactical missiles increases the maximum damage bonus from 32 to 5 to 40%. Pulse Crystal Smart Batteries Threshold increased from 30 to 32 percent. Remote Shield Force Fields Recharge Effect increased from 15 to 20 percent. Remote Armor Engineering Adjustments Effect increased from 30 to 40 percent. Interesting. So Tactical Damage, Tactical Missiles have received a buff to damage, ah, okay, okay. General units reduced the repair penalty of the four efficiency optimization units for shield booster, remote shield booster armor repair and remote armor repair from 20 to 15 percent for shield extended efficiency optimization. Its shield bonus increased from 25 to 30 percent for armor plates efficiency optimization. Its armor hit point bonus increased from 25 to 30 percent. Reduce the velocity penalty of the four efficiency optimization units for afterbursts, micro warp drive, gui uh, micro -warp drive drone navigation computer, and flight micro warp drive guides from 20% to 15%. For remote capacitor transmitters, distance optimization, its capacitor transmission penalty reduced from 25 to 20%. For fighter fire control rays, efficiency optimization, its damage penalty reduced from 20% to 15%. For general fire control systems precision enhancement, its maximum damage and activation time penalty reduced from 40 to 30 percent. For general fire control systems output boost, its maximum damage and activation time increased from 25 to 30 percent. For drone navigation computers endurance boost, it gained a new effect, reduces capacitor consumption by 5 to 32 percent. That's white. That's quite big. For fighting micro drive guys, endurance boost, it gained a new effect, reduces. Uh, reduces, uh, reduces, reduces from 40 to 30 percent. For mothership defense modules, fire power boost, its maximum resistance penalty reduced from 40 to 30 percent. For mothership defense modules, endurance boost, its maximum range, its maximum damage and resistance penalty reduced from 40 to 30 percent. For damage control efficiency optimization, it has been changed to be effective on all resistances. For damage controls overheating boosts, and the item description has been changed to effective on all resistances. Also pretty good, also pretty interesting. So the general use have been changed quite a bit as well. Do all kind of expect that. Capital ships. To improve the assault capabilities of versatile assault ships, the following adjustments have been made. Removed network sensor modes and changed the scan resolution modes to its base effect. Study Swift Resistance plus 25%, Warp Stability plus 3, Increased Shield, Extender and Armor Plate bonus from 5 to 10%, and removed the Capacitor Consumption bonus. Mid Slot plus 1. Oh, so the salt, the, the faction carriers have been, have been, but it will be interesting to see how this will, how this will work. Slightly increased the survivability of the carriers. These increased, these increases are primarily reflected in the shield or armor each ship specializes in. Chimera increases its fighter explosion velocity bonus from 7.5 to 10%, EHP plus 4%, it or EHP plus 4.4%. Archon increases its fighter range bonus from 75% to 10%, EHP plus 5.1%. Senatus increased its fighter defense bonus from 75% to 10%, EHP plus 5%.
CNC EHP plus 2% for security low slot plus 1. Wait a second, they have 9 low slots now? Have to... I think they have 9 low slots, I might be wrong, but... That's going to be... That's going to be fun. You know, cover EHP plus 1.3%, leaf EHP plus 2.6%, Apostle EHP plus 3.1%, Inazo EHP plus 4.3%. Industrial ships. To improve the stability and, uh, and certain module combos of freighters and jump freighters, the following adjustments have been made. Reduce the shield recharge time to 1800 seconds. Are you kidding me? So the passive tank of these monsters is going to be really good now. Okay, that's interesting. Wish that they had wish that we had that recharge time for other ships, but okay, it's a step in the right direction, I guess. Low slot plus one, unable to equip cloaking, the of course. <laughs> they gave it one low slot, but they prevent you from equipping a cloaking device. That's kind of a, that's kind of funny. Improved overall defense capabilities of industrial ships. Caron EHP plus 6.1%, Obelisk EHP plus 8.7%, Fenrir EHP plus 6.6%, Providence EHP plus 75%, Rhea EHP plus 4.8%, Unsure AHP plus 8.7%, Nomad AHP 6.5%, Arc AHP plus 7.7%, Rorkel added a new bonus, Logistic Drone uh, Shield Repair plus 50% per level, Orca Low Slot plus 1 added a new bonus, Logistic Drone and Shield Repair plus 10%, Vistower Structure Hold Capacity increased from 30,000 to 40,000, Sigil stru Structure Hold Capacity increased from 45 to 60,000, Sigil 2 Structure Hold Capacity increased from 6,000 to 80,000. Nice, very nice. Large ships. Navy issue battleships shield recharge time reduced to 1200 seconds. See, this is what I've been waiting for. Now we're talking about a passive tank. Hallelujah. I'm definitely a very good choice that I got the, the Raven Navy. That is going to be a brick. <laughs> I love it. Vindicator EHP plus 3% added a new bonus ties with resistance plus 25%. Travel sync increases its turn damage bonus from 475 to 480%. Scorpion increased its damage bonus from 15 to 17.5%. Scorpion 2 increased its damage bonus from 22 to 2%. Armageddon increased its drone damage bonus from 40 to uh, 50%. Armageddon 2 increased its drone damage bonus from 40, uh, 50 to 60%. Typhoon increased its missile rate of fire bonus from 5 to 6%. Typhoon 2 increased its missile rate of fire bonus from 5 to 6%. Smegathon increased its regular rate of fire bonus from 5 to 6%, Smegathon Strike increased its uh, damage bonus from 5 to 5%, uh, from uh, 4 to 5%, Megros Navy Issue increased its regular damage bonus from 20 to 20%, Tempest Striker increased its cannon damage from 5% to 6%, Tempest Fleet Issue increased its cannon damage bonus from 20 to 24%, Praxis EHP plus 6.9% increased its damage bonus from 50 to 60%, Praxis 2 EHP plus 2.9% increased its damage bonus from 50 to 60%. Medium ships. Armored Guardian ships removed its armor link declaration offset effect. Shield Guardian Battlecruiser added a new bonus offset 12.5%, 17.5%, force field dec deceleration effect. Guardian, bat uh, Guardian Battlecruiser, high slot plus one, special edition faction cruiser shield recharge time reduced to 900 seconds. Yes, finally. Vigilant increased its damage bonus from 12% to 12.5%, EHP plus 3% added a new bonus, status with resistance plus 25%. Adestia changed its status with bonus to be affected by electronic warfare, added a new bonus, flight velocity plus 2% per level, inertia modifier minus 2% per level, status with resistance plus 25%. Stellos increased its status with effect range from plus 5 to plus 75%, and its battery mode tracking speed bonus from 12 to 20%. Lovely. Gnosis increased its damage bonus from 25 to 50%, to 50 and 100% EHP plus 2%. Type 2 Offense Battle Cruiser Inertia Modifier minus 10% increased its warp speed from 2.7 to 3. Type 3 off Offense Battle Cruiser Inertia Modifier minus 15% increased its warp speed from 2.7 to 3.3. Small ships, Navy, fr Navy Issue Frigates, Shield Recharge Time reduced to 600 seconds. Lovely. Daredevil AHP plus 3%. Added a new bonus, size with resistance plus 25%. Swarm increased its general command range bonus from 1 to 2 kilometers. Drama increased its current damage bonus from 14 to 15%, Sunnyness increased its, its damage bonus from 25, 50 to 50 and 100%, EHP plus, plus 4.5%. Drones. Strength, the characteristics unique to um, uh, each faction drones. Armor, armor combat drone, agility plus 10%, caldery combat drone, agility plus 5%, 
Ni mot recommend drone agility plus 15%, curato damage plus 10%, guard damage plus 15%, bounce damage plus 5%. Fighters, strength, the characteristic unique to each faction's slight and heavy fighters, armor fighter agility 10%, caldery fighter agility plus 5%, minimotor fighter agility plus 15%, shrike and red tailed hawk agility plus 10%, armor fighter weapon stability plus 20%, note weapon stability effect damage fall off when attacking fast and small ships, minimotor fighter weapon stability plus 10%, assault offense and integrated templar damage plus 5.8%, increase the damage of other templar models by 2%, Assault Offense and Integrate Enhiri damage 6.4%, increase the damage of other uh, Enhiri models by 1.6%. How long is this list? Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is a long update. Lightweight ships. Compared to Caspulis prototype ships, lightweight ships have high maneuverability but lower weapon accuracy. This makes it difficult for lightweight ships to achieve the desired level of firepower output, therefore we've improved the weapon accuracy and firepower of a lightweight of uh, lightweight ships and strength the distinguished features of their various weapon weapons. Lightweight bomber increased its damage by 5%, lightweight executioner damage plus 5%, weapon stability plus 20%, optimal range raised from 8 to 12 kilometers, lightweight courser damage plus 5%, weapon stability 20%, optimal range raised from 13 to 18 kilometers, lightweight slasher damage plus 10%, weapon stability plus 10%, optimal range raised from 8 to 10 kilometers, lightweight rusher damage 10%, Weapon stability plus 10%, optimal range raised from 13 to 15 km, lightweight auto damage plus 15%, lightweight catalyst turret damage plus 15%. Turrets! Small rifle railgun damage plus 5.1%, large rifle railgun damage plus 3.4%, capital rifle railgun damage plus 10%, capital stamp news railgun damage plus 5%, accuracy valve raise from 24 to 28 km, capital barrel Snap reduced railgun damage plus 5%, accuracy valve raised from 19.2 to 22.4. Large pulse laser accuracy valve raised from 5 to 8 km, capital pulse laser accuracy raised from 15 to 20 km. Capital beam laser damage plus 10%, capital cruise missile launcher damage plus 2%, small autocannon damage plus 4.28%, accuracy valve raised from 5.16 to 5.4 km. Medium autocannon activation time plus 2.3 seconds, accuracy valve raised from 10.32 to 10.8. Large autocannon damage plus 4.1%, capital autocannon damage plus 3.2%, attacking speed increased from 0.387 to 0.48, accuracy fell off raised from 48 to 54 km. Capital barrel autocannon damage plus 5%, accuracy fell off raised from 38.4 to 42.2. Small strike cannon activation time minus 5.8%, medium strike cannon damage plus 1%, large strike cannon damage plus 2.8%, activation time 4.9%, capital strike cannon damage plus 10%. Modules. Medium shield extended cost reduced from uh, reduced by 3.6 to 23%, the higher the metal, the greater the reduction. 100 mm reinforced steel plate and titanium armor max armor increased by 58% and temporary armor increased by 42.2. Jesus Christ, that's going to be that's going to be wild. 100 mm reinforced steel plate cost reduced by 22 to 41%. 400 mm reinforced steel plate and titanium armor max armor increased by 42 44.4 and temporary armor increased by 30%. 5mm reinforced steel plates, uh, 5 mm reinforced steel plates cost reduced by 23 to 59%. 1000mm titanium armor's armor when activated increased by 17.7%. Drone navigation computer's capacitor consumption reduced by 10%. Malaysia command modules fuel usage reduced by 50%. Small armor link modules with activation proximity raised from 10 km to 20 km added a new effect, armor repair effect when activated 10%, uh, scale with meta level. Medium armor link module activation proximity raised from 20 to 30 km added a new effect, armor repair e effect when activated plus 15%. Large armor link modules activation proximity raised from 30 km to 40 km added a new effect, armor repair effect when activated plus 20%. Beaver industrial core modules drone damage and mining amount bonus increased from 8 to 100%. Each shield boost bonus increased from 6 to 7, uh, 75%. Stand up small missile damage in damage plus 51.7%, activation time minus 37.5%, stand up medium missile damage plus 57.9%, activation time minus 16.7%, stand up large missile damage plus 22.3%, activation time minus 27.4%, stand up slice with a range raised from 40 to 50 kilometers. Industry, PPD, full range, fibers, pirate quantity, cost adjusted to 500. Capital Cosmic Anomaly. With the addition of supercarriers to the main fleet of major factions, the passion 
for care research has been declined, pirate factions have reduced their stockpile of advanced capital ship components. They now primarily maintain capital ship testing grounds to conduct specialized re research on a smaller scale, but at a higher frequency. Capital ship rally points, capital ship special fit, and capital quarry uh, spawn rate increased by 15%. No longer drops advanced capital ship components. Shipping container. Capital lift and capital ship testing ground. Capital lift and capital ship testing ground are currently the most difficult battles due to their long combat time, long fl flight distance, and high difficulty. Those factors are now not conductive to capital lift participation, therefore, we have made the following up to the to them. Removed the ores in the large route at level 1, increased the compressed ore capacity at level 2 by 20%. Reduce the distance to the route's entrance from 120 to 90 kilometers. And the area of level 2 has been adjusted to have the same size as level 1. Reduce the number of route routes from 4 to 3. Reduce the most difficult last wave of enemies in each space. The spawn pattern of supercarriers has not been changed. For capital lift, add 2 out of three capital ships to the first two ways, which have relatively low difficulty, respectively. For capital rift, the fuel usage for scans has been used to 720,000, and the number of scans per week has been increased from 2 to 3. It increased the spawn rate of capital ship testing ground by 15%. Wayseeker Cosmic Anomaly Wayseeker checkpoint has been changed, where it only will be destroyed after all the loot crates have been looted. Remove the common modules and rig blueprints from waste secret checkpoints and increase the drop rates of rare blueprints. Remove the rig blueprints from relic sites and added implant blueprints, aerospace tactics and artillery cover. Hmm. Interesting. So you can find implants in the relic sites. Increase the drop rates of perfect salvage parts and skill chip blueprints of data sites. Nice. That's going to be fun. Mining reduced the number of gas clouds, C15 and C16 in common asteroid belts, changed the natural despawn time of common asteroid belts to one day. We thick drones in asteroid cluster of Cobalt Edge have a tiny chance of carrying advanced strip miners. Metal 5, 8. Encounters. In normal encounter missions, enemy ship wrecks typically drop low value modules that held some value in the early days of New Eden. Nowadays, these modules are outdated in performance, and capsules are more inclined to discard them due to their low recycling value. Therefore, we, we plan to make the following adjustments. In expert and higher difficult encounters, they removed the low value modules dropped in encounter missions. Upon defeating NPC pirates, they have a small chance to drop the abandoned properties of pirates, which can be used to redeem LP points at a station. In the event, Lazarus units gifts in order to help Cups Cups with train skills at will during the event when you reach tackle reaches the requirement. You can claim up to 10 million Lazarus points, okay, that's expected. New arrival and the, the lucky ball, of course, the lucky box will be will be arriving for the for the implants and you know stuff like that overall a pretty so i'm very happy about this uh, balance patch uh, mostly because now passive tanking is going to make a comeback and yeah uh should be uh exciting definitely going to i'm glad that i kept my uh my fee and 600 seconds recharge time i think that's 900 seconds recharge time is pretty wild so yeah, I think I'm going to be very happy with that. So with that being said, this was the balance patch. And, well, uh, if you guys enjoyed, feel free to uh, like and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you next time.